Hey guys, Jeff Beggins, November 2nd here in John's Pass Village, right in the middle of John's Pass. And this is exciting. I love this. This is, we've got a lot of really cool projects. This is secretly just something special about this one to me. Because this is, in my mind, fast forwarding to what this area is, right? A true resort town, right? It's a beach town blending with a resort town and there's a lot more resorting and beach town combining together in this one. So this specific home is awesome. It's called Pelican. It's called John's Pass Retreat is the name of the project. And it's on a street called Pelican Lane right here in the middle of John's Pass Village. What a, it was such a rare find because I'm right here, if you kind of spin back behind these construction, you see the fishing boats right there. Um, this is the first canal in from the Gulf of Mexico. John's Pass is a pass right in between Madeira Beach and Treasure Island right here in um, the west coast of Florida, Tampa Bay region up on the west Gulf side over here. So this particular village is called John's Pass Village. It used to be a really cool fishing village, still is, as you can see with fishing boats right here, but it's really evolving into a very big tourist destination. We get about 3.8, almost 4 million visitors a year come right here. And there's 120 shops and bars and restaurants and floating tiki huts to cruise around on jet skis, parasails, fishing charter boats, you go overnight fishing trips, you do all kinds of stuff, dolphin trips, seashelling, everything you want. So, so many people come here, but there's been no real accommodations to take them. There's everything just built, it was two bedrooms this, maybe a three bedroom here or there. But um, the way people are traveling now with um, blended families as, as prevalent as they are, uh, people traveling with their nannies, grandparents traveling with them, multiple families coming together. They go on vacation together anyway, so they end up renting three or four hotel rooms, five hotel rooms, just to get their groups together to go on trips and it's cost prohibitive. So we said, what if we just said, let's let's build something that brings them all in. And this idea came from well, me personally with taking my family during the pandemic time up to Margaritaville, Margaritaville Cottages in Orlando. And we didn't even go there for the parks. We just went there to get away. And they have these eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14 bedroom homes, private pools, private hot tubs, private kitchens, and like, man, this is awesome. Pandemic time was phenomenal, right? Because you don't want to breathe anybody else's air because who knows if we're dying tomorrow or not at that time. So, but we didn't, we were fortunate. So we said, let's do this here. And so and there's nothing like this anywhere in a whole region. So this home here is really special. It's a nine bedroom, eight and a half bath, huge, awesome, 4,600 square foot, super well laid out. Not just because I designed the floor plan, it's just super well laid out. And if we're going to get involved in stuff, we're going to do it right. This thing is a bunker. As you can see, it's all, all concrete and steel, right? They're just using the wood there to form the concrete um, pours. So you can kind of see underneath those guys standing on the roof there, there's the concrete trays. This is a Maryland pan system. So they're actually putting, fabricate the steel to go in between the floors. And look how thick that slab is on the first floor over the garage at first level. That is solid poured concrete. Right? A lot of the other units, they just put these wooden floor joists up. Nothing wrong with that construction. I just don't want it, right? So this particular deal is they actually put the steel pans, the steel pans stay, so you can actually see underneath the steels there. And then we pour a thick ass slab of concrete on top. And then it's concrete walls all the way up in the piling. So we have steel beams taking the loads and it's gonna go up. So this is first floor is gonna have its own pool, own hot tub. Um, it's gonna have a little outdoor kitchen area there right on the water going back and garage up front. And then you've got on this first level, really big entertaining area, double kitchens, entertainment, living area, dining area for multiple families staying together on this one. Then we have two bedrooms, two bath en suites in the front. The one where those guys are standing there, that's the next floor. That'll have two bedroom en suites over here and two more bedrooms with a bathroom up there. So, and then there's one more floor above that, which has another four bedrooms up there. And then there's a rooftop with two decks because we've got sunrise coming up here. You've got sunset going over there and you're gonna already from this level here, you're looking at the Gulf of Mexico. You're actually seeing the Gulf and can see sunset already. Now, two floors above that, it's gonna be spectacular. And we're looking at downtown St. Pete. You're gonna be looking at the whole Boca Ciega Bay. You're looking at all the sea life. You're looking at John's Pass Sandbar, which is an attraction onto its own, right? Uh, what goes on there on the weekend. So this is, probably the best of all worlds, of all projects around. So these projects, these are about 3.6 to $3.8 million homes, no joke, but they are expected to bring in about half a million bucks a year in income, which you can kind of do the math on how that is. So that's what's going on. This is already sold to one of our clients. They're excited to get this thing done. 
and start getting their revenue. And then we're gonna have three more going right here. So this is just exciting for me to watch this progress. And it just fires me up, gives me a little bit of goosebumps on this one, so I love it. So you need one, get a bunch of friends together, form a company, buy one, get one of your friends, go get some scratch offs, whatever you need to do, but get one of these because this will be a phenomenal retirement that you can actually come live in and have fun, make it a family compound, bring a bunch of people together. That's what the buyers and these are actually doing. So it's really excited to have you see this transformation from dirt to vision, to permitting, to going. And we'll be bringing you a step. Next time we go through, we'll actually walk you through that second floor, give you an idea for the layout, and then give you some views up from that third floor as you set it up. So that's the update from John's Pass Retreat, Pelican Lane, Madeira Beach. Love it, watch the link down here. You can see the four plans yourself and check them out. And um, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.